Today I've come up to the coast. Now, in the last video I mentioned that there was a storm passing through and there should be some settled weather behind it. And that just hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Over the, the mountains is a lot of low clouds sitting on top of the mountains, which means that taking images up in the mountains is poss impossible. You don't have anything to see. But luckily up on the coast, things are a bit different. Because we're a bit lower, the, the low clouds is not much of an issue. Sometimes it's nice to change a little, to do something a little different. Anyway, so moving on from that, what am I going to do today? I'm hoping to get a bit of a, a nice sunset. There's some clouds about, which I hope will catch the light. We've had a nice mixed day of cloud, sun, um, a bit of rain as well, but it, it's been a, a quite a variable day, which is quite nice for pho photography. I've come to this first beach. It's a lovely sandy expanse. Um, there's not much meant like a subject here to photograph really, but I'm hoping to find some small details in the sand or um, see how the, the, the sun interacts with the landscape as well. Maybe the, the clouds, will, if they get illuminated well, will become a, a point. Now I wanted to do, address a couple of other points. First of all, this thing here this dot that I noticed when I was editing and this one up here as well. Um, those are scratches on the front element of this lens and that's because I was filming somewhere, I think it might have been when I was doing the, f the filter video and the wind just caught the camera and it went flying and landed lens down onto stones and so there's two big scratches one here and one up here that are coming into frame so at some point i will be buying a new lens because unless i can get that repaired i'm not really sure how to do that but yeah so sorry about that that's going to be quite an annoying little white dot popping up in the corner um, but there's not much i can do about it i've tried cleaning it off and it just won't buff out if you've got any tips on how to remove a scratched scratched surface off of a of a lens then please comment below it'll be a really good tip to know uh, i haven't had this before all of my canon lenses have not scratched um mainly because they have not fallen over uh, but it happens so i'm sorry about this for the time being until i can get a new lens let's get started I've been wandering around this sandy stretch, but I'm not finding any subjects. I was trying to find like a stone or seaweed or, or something that interacted with the sand and the water to form a composition, but every interesting stone or something that I found, there was either a dog print or a human footprint or something cluttering up the image and not really finding a composition. But So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to the car. I'll keep an eye out on the way back, hopefully I can find something. But it's not looking good at this spot. Um, but the day is not done, I've, I've got a second spot, second location nearby that I'm going to go to that I know is has got some good compositions, it's just whether the light comes or not. Um, that's the question, so yeah, I'm just going to head back to the car and move on. Hopefully I'll see something on the way back. but. I don't know. Just on the way back I've spotted this little composition. 
It's a stone sitting in some rippled sand. I'm going to go in quite close, um, square crop it probably. And the sun is just hitting this rippled sand causing these wonderful deep shadows. So um, I'm going to shoot this and then there might be a second composition that I've just spotted as well. Um, I'll see how this one goes and then if the light's still there I might go check that one out as well. So for this one it's, um, as I said, I'm going to crop it square. Um, the light's sort of coming and going so I'm just going to keep an eye on it but it's at ISO 100 F13 1 13th of a second with a two second timer um, but there's a cloud just creeping in front of the sun which the shadows was a big part of the composition so I'll just see how this one turns out give it a couple minutes for the light to come back but uh, those are the settings for this image You may have noticed I've uh, converted it to black and white as well. I think that will bring out the detail a bit more on the stone and in the sand and, and help bring out the contrast of the scene. Um, but I'm, I'm quite happy with how it's going to turn out, I think. Uh, the cloud's really coming in over the sun, so I won't bother with that second composition I talked about. Instead, I'm just going to head back to the car and continue on to the second location. While I was wandering around on the beach trying to find those small detailed small detailed compositions, I ended up just playing with the camera, having a go with some ICM photography. And the image that I took at the time, I didn't think it was worth shooting something to camera. Um, I just carried on filming B-roll and went back to the car. But when I got it on the computer, I found that I really liked it and I'm happy that I took it. So the settings for this image was one tenth of a second at F11 ISO 100 and I, I just moved laterally as I took it and it just got that nice bit of motion into the picture, a bit abstract and I really like the palette in it. But that's basically why I kept it. So I hope you enjoy it. The next location is a good one. I know of a few compositions there. I just gotta hope for the light to come. So fingers crossed. Well, that was a bit of a fiasco to be honest. I went to my secondary location and it was packed with motorhomes. That was just full of people. There was dogs, there was people camping in tents. There was kites, there was so much going on that I just couldn't film there and I couldn't get any compositions. So I ended up going to another location. And at this other location, the light was amazing and I got some great pictures, which will be featured in the next video. I decided to, to split this up. It didn't seem right mashing them together. And uh, I didn't really make that decision until just 
as I was editing it. <laughs> I'm, I was quite happy with the the ICM image that I just did on the fly. I wasn't really planning on doing it. I was just fiddling with the camera, just having a go and seeing what came out. And it wasn't until I edited the picture that I was happy with it. So that, that goes to show that sometimes, you know, in the moment you might not like a picture very much, but when you get to the other end and you're, you're looking at it on the computer and you're, you're refining it, the image can work out. So I'm actually really happy that I took that one. And the stones, I was happy with that as well. Uh, that was sort of what I wanted, but I, there was a couple of stones that had this really bright, vibrant green seaweed attached to them, but they always had a, a, a footprint around them, so I couldn't take a picture of those, unfortunately. Um, but I hope you liked this instalment. The next instalment is the second part essentially where I go to a third location and I actually end up shooting the sunset and, and um, I only really found two compositions at this place but I, I took several images of those compositions and um, I wanted to talk about the differences between them as well in the next video so I hope you've enjoyed today's one Thank you if you are a subscriber. If not, please consider subscribing. It is greatly appreciated and I will keep putting out videos as much as possible. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.